The Oregon Writes Project started in the summer of 2015 when a writing instructor, that's me, Jen Kepka, wanted to create a freely available textbook for her Writing 121 class. I quickly came up with two important questions. Hey, aren't there already enough free resources out there? And if there are, well, why aren't we using them? When I started this project, the textbook for my Writing 121 course had just gone into a new $85 edition. Add to that the handbook that would be obsolete nine months later, and students would be paying over $100 just for my class's textbooks. That didn't seem fair. With the help of Open Oregon's resources, I quickly found that yes, there are already a ton of open resources available online. In fact, the number of Creative Commons licensed works has increased dramatically, doubling in only four years. But almost anything can get a Creative Commons license. Would there be content that I could use in a college writing class? The answer to this was yes as well. In fact, a number of places already had fully developed, fully OER writing texts available. So clearly, the resources already existed which meant I didn't need to write a new free text. But if it's all out there, then, well, why hadn't I seen these before? Why weren't they already in the classrooms? I knew my colleagues were interested in reducing textbook costs, and every time I mentioned OER, I saw interest. But I also saw fatigue and concern and skepticism. In short, I found that we don't have a statewide adoption of a good OER writing text because none of the existing national resources fit. Oregon is original, after all. Our 10-week terms set us apart from the curriculum of many other states, so their content doesn't always fit with ours. In addition, across the state, different schools teach Writing 121 in different ways, so it's very hard to tailor a solution for everyone. None of that, however, means that OER can't work for us. In fact, it felt like a great argument for constructing something that would work. So what was the solution? The solution was recognizing that there was no one solution to this problem, and then setting out to solve the problems anyway. Welcome to the open writing text from Oregon Writes. So what is this thing? Well, to start, it's a book. A traditional book with chapters, images, and a book that's available to be put onto actual paper with only a few clicks. It can be openly shared through the web as a PDF, or downloaded as an ebook, or it can be sold in bookstores as a course packet, or ordered through an online store if you'd prefer professional binding. This book solves one of the problems I encountered, which is a reluctance among some faculty to present students with an online-only text. Students do overwhelmingly still prefer paper materials in class, and this book, which is available at low to no cost to students, depending on the method you choose or they choose, scratches that paper itch. However, books are a one-size-fits-some solution. The beauty of OER should be partly in their adaptability, and this project supports that too. So in addition to a ready-to-go textbook, all of the content in the Oregon Writes Open Text is also available in individual editable pieces. That means if you have the time, you can remix the content to make your own textbook. By September of 2016, all of the content will be available in rich text format for download, making it easy to pick and choose chapters, sections, even individual readings or paragraphs for inclusion into a book that works for you, your department, and your students. But it's hard to make a textbook work if time is the one resource you don't have, which is where the third piece of this project comes into play. The Oregon Writes Open Text comes with a teacher's guide that walks you through the text's goals, its organizing principles, the rules for adapting and adopting it, and, starting this fall, a collection of lesson plans, activities, and even peer reviews of the text and its uses. The Oregon Writes Open Text is a living, working textbook that's ready for adoption, comment, and sharing. And I'd love for you to be a part of it. For more information to access the text itself 
or to get signed up for the Faculty Guide course. Just visit OregonWrites.org.